what is the state of executive hiring right now? Good question. Um, well, normally, you know, we like to look at large points of data, and um, we know that the, the people that we qualify to be executives, basically 3% of the population, um, they do go about getting jobs different ways, and they get hired different ways. Um, usually, pre-COVID times, the average time from a, a first interview for a particular scenario to an offer, average was right around three months. Um, and of course, there are definitely some companies that are, there, there's companies that are winners and there's companies that are losers. But for the companies that are gonna be around post COVID or during COVID, they've been needing to do lots of pivots. And there's been a bit of a, a, a rush, if you will, to get the people in place that will figure out what that strategy is and what will, uh, what will, what they will need to do to survive or how they will need to pivot. Until those hires are made, everything is a bit frozen. So on one end, you look at most of the uh, companies that have to go through these pivots, they are in a little bit of a freeze mode right now, but the people at the higher level are actually moving through the process quicker. And we've actually seen the interview time shorten from two to three weeks. So anywhere between two to three months. Also, um, that I think that has a little bit to do with, and I'm just using this based on the members that we work with and we're helping them through their, their job search. Um, the interview process is happening faster because they don't need to have everybody in, in, at the office to do the interview. So I had one of the members say, I got called back for a second interview and that was in the afternoon. So <laughs> it's like the whole time frame of when can you come back has shifted or when can the people come in to talk to you the stakeholders that we need to create buy-in for you has shifted so in the short answer to that question is that um there are companies who you know are definitely losers in this environment but you know if you're a company where your business just has to pivot that state of executive hiring has accelerated mm -hmm. are you sensing or Hearing that executive hiring, at least in certain sectors, will call stop, or is that not the case? No, I mean, the only scenarios, and don't get me wrong, I mean, I talk to people on the phone every day that their their job was actually eliminated due to COVID. So, um, you know, there are companies that have just said, look, this, this thing that we do, this business line isn't going to um, work anymore and um, no matter there, there's no pivots that can be done there's no way can we can recover from from um, the loss that we've had over the last six months and we're just going to have to um, liquidate and um, so that yes that's kind of a stopper but then there's companies that are around and that are going to be around there's companies that all they need to do is pivot so therefore they have to hurry to get these people into place so they can make everything else happen and then there's other companies that are perfectly um situated i mean you know i i just moved to texas and you know i'm i'm starting to experience sonic <laughs> and and i as i pull into the stall at sonic I realized that, wow, there could be no company better positioned for this. And as we look around and we see all these different companies now having the opportunity to take advantage of a market that wasn't there, um, they do have to make those moves rather quickly. And who does it? The executives.